handicapper Steve here handicapping the racing from Churchill Downs here on opening night. It is Saturday, the 29th of April, 2023. Going to look at the ninth race from Churchill, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5 for more selections for race courses around the world, and I mean it around the world. Join me next week for my Kentucky Derby preview. Also next week for my 2000 Guineas preview from Newmarket. An excellent to week- weekend of racing over there also, so I hope you check that out. But, um, you know, Derby Day, uh, you know, it's going to be ex- th- those stakes races. If you look at the nominations for these, you know, it's going to be an excellent card there. Tuesday's card looks great. Wednesday's card looks great. It's just, you know, it's exciting. Uh, let's look at the uh, ninth race here on opening night from Churchill, which is an interesting race. It's the Roxalana Overnight Stakes. It's going for a purse of $175,000 races for Phillies and Mayors, four-year-olds and upwards. Six horses are going 1,200 meters or six furlongs on the dirt course. Going to take the one horse Frank's Rockhead as a top selection. Let's go 1645 in the Superfecta. 1645 Super. Top selection one horse Frank's Rockhead. Six year old mare by Into the Mischief. Bill Montrange. Junior Alvarado gets on this one. The horse's most recent outing came the 11th of March at Goldstream. Six and a half furlongs in the Hurricane Birdie Stakes. And the horse basically walked. She won by eight lengths at 40 cents of the dollar. She stalked. She circled the field. She quickened up. Coming home with a 101 buyer. That was a good return as a six year old debut. Prior to that, she ran on New Year's Eve at Goldstream, six furlongs in the Great Three Sugar Swirl, and she won by a dozen and a half that day. And again, she basically won and ridden out. Uh, 105 by her career best. You know, she was facing lesser quality horses, but she still took off clear. 109 three for three quarters. Not bad race at Goldstream. And then prior to that, in the Breeders' Cup Philly Mayor sprint at Keeneland, seven furlongs, fifth of November. She finished 11th by six and a quarter lengths that day. And, you know, she probably needed the race there. Um, you know, also maybe tougher horses got to her. She just was very, very very flat um you know she maybe she didn't like keelan i don't know it just she did, should have did a lot better than she did before that against lesser quality horses in the pink ribbon at Ch- charlestown she won by six from a tracking trip she really took off late that was a very good run and then had a decent place in the honorable miss coming home with a 103 buyer you know, last year, you know, if you look at over her races, she got better as the season got on, went on. Three races in a row where she ran triple-digit buyers. She, her last two are triple-digit buyers. You know, if you take out that Brewers Cup sprint, um, Philly Mayor sprint, she hasn't been bad at all. She's training very well here. Half-mile drill on the 24th of April and 49th. 48 and 3, the um, fourth best work of 22. I think this horse is sitting on a good race. I'm going to use her. If she doesn't show up, the six horse uh, Copilla, Copilla, um, or Copilla uh, for Philip Bauer and Tyler Gaffleon wouldn't surprise me if this horse gets the job done. Most recently, the Sugar Swirl, she couldn't keep up with Frank's Rockette, where she just stalked and never really got the going trip. Before that, the Dream Supreme, she won by two and three quarter lengths there, coming home with a 94 pyre. She really took off clear, a very good run, and then six furlongs and optional 88. Keelan. She won by four. Again, tracking trip. She really, really ran well. Her buyers are a little low considered to Frank's Rockette, but she's on her home turf where she's run decently. Her she, races have been getting better as of recently. Training well. I'll give this horse a shot at 3-1. to one. She could definitely get the job done. Um, you know, the four horse, My Destiny, could be picking up the pieces late for Ray Lou Gutierrez. At 10-1, to one, we'll use the horse in the pick four. Uh, you know, one picking up the pieces last time out on the 24th of March, winning by three, coming from nowhere. Very good race there. Before then, the minaret, you know, she she ran good, but not great. She just, I, I think the tiring track got to her, uh, but when the Orleans takes a delta over the five very, very nicely. Like I said, if there's a horse that could pick up the pieces like she did last time at Goldstream, it could be her. We'll use her in the pick four, but I do think the other two are likelier winners, especially ranks, Frank's Raquette. But to recount my selection for the ninth here, er, from Churchill, it's the Roxalana. Let's take the one horse, Frank's Raquette. Give kudos to the six horse, Copila, and the four horse, My Destiny. Um, one, six, four, five, super. One, six, four in your multi race. So good luck to all. Please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5. Good luck everybody.